All right, it's uh, summertime again. I'm working on this uh, 1965 Buick Electra convertible again. Last uh, fall, we sandblasted the chassis and got the body. Just sat back on here. I gotta pull it back off to redo the brake lines and stuff, but right now I'm working in the trunk. A lot of holes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna weld up some patches. Fortunately, I couldn't buy any of the pieces, so they don't make them. So I just got some tin, I'm bending it up and then stacking it in there, cutting the bad stuff out. So you just take it one hole at a time and one piece of metal at a time, one weld at a time until it's done. So I'm gonna start doing that. And my goal is just to get it back onto the chassis and running and put together so it's an asset and not a piece of scrap. Well, you can see the lower quarter is completely gone. So I'm just trying to cut away the majority of the rust and try to shape in a piece of metal, kind of hacking away back here in the trunk. I've already made a bunch of plates back here. They don't look great because I'm just kind of cutting and hammering plates into shape and then tacking them in right now. I'll try to finish them up later. But I just want to post a little progress. A lot of holes, a lot of holes. Quick before I paint the engine, kind of lightly sandblasted it and I'm just pulling stuff back. Gonna give it a rattle can restoration and put the body back on now that I've replaced all the brake lines and body bushings. I thought I'd do a quick update on this. I haven't had a lot of time to work on it. I've been busy this summer. Put a couple hours in today. Um, finished welding up these mounts. Pulled the body off, fixed some of the brake lines, and then, uh, so it's not great, but like I said, they didn't sell any of these parts, and you know, I don't got a lot of great metalworking equipment, so I just kind of put it in the vise and bent it up. It is, uh, it is gonna work. It's not gonna look the best, but that's what I'm going to have to do is just go around and just keep making plates and welding up any rust, sandblasting. And once I take care of the rust, the car should be fine. Like I said, I bought this car for $500, so I'm just trying to bring it back to life. And it's not my best work, and I wouldn't recommend this is the way to do it, but this is the way that I'm doing it. See, these are a lot of the rust from the floor. Pan. Normally, I would have just put a whole pan in here. Like I said, I couldn't get it, and there didn't make a lot of these cars. So I just have flat plates I've kind of welded in. Uh, it's nice and solid. I uh, ground the welds down. Now what I'm going to do, I'll just blend this in a little bit. And uh, any little holes around here, like over there, I'll just cut a flat plate. I'm going to work my way all the way through the floor. And then I'm going to do the exterior of the body. So you can see there's some repairs to be made on the floor. Some pinholes here. Major ones over there, but that's easy. I'll just weld a flat plate in there. So once I do that, I'm going to put an oil-based paint over all of this and it should help prevent it from rusting any further in the future. But that's where I'm at. Keep on going. All right, I finished up most of the floor repair here. And uh, what you can see I did, where there's like gaping hole here, I just cut a piece of tin or a piece of sheet metal. And then uh, I start on one spot and I start tacking it, tacking it, and then pushing it into shape and then tacking it tight against where the hole was, where the rust was. And uh, usually if it was like a body panel, you'd cut this out and you make it seamless right across. But since it's a floor pan, I actually welded it on top. Be a little stronger that way. Just kind of covers up, it's faster, easier. And I'm working on a time crunch. So what I did, just kind of weld this up, grind the welds down. Then you just use a little bit of tiger hair, dirt glass, kind of blend in some of the seams here. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and paint this with a Rust-Oleum. So I did that throughout the car, all these little plates are covering up areas where there's holes or there's any pinholes. I strengthen them with just like a small plate and then blended them in together. And now I'm gonna paint it with uh, oil-based paint. Like I said, this is not the, uh, the best restoration job I've ever done, but I'm also working on a time crunch. I've got like an hour I wanted to finish this up. So I'm gonna put the paint on and then go to a birthday party. So this is just a little side project, but uh, all in all, I could spend more time in here and uh, make it look really great, but I'm not too worried about it. You can see the plate just kind of blended it in. I spent maybe a little bit more time on the trunk. Um, by the time they get the spare tire in here, the mat, anybody that looks under here, it's gonna be like for a minute or two. So I don't wanna to spend too much time. Mainly it's all about structurally getting this all fixed. This is a couple plates welded in here and then welded right from the bottom where the body mounts are. Same with here and here. So that's all been repaired. I'm gonna go ahead and paint this and just see how it looks. And uh, hopefully everything turns out nice, I'm sure it will. All right, just finished putting that paint on. It's amazing what paint can do. 
I definitely covered a lot more of the areas once you're not looking at two different colors and contrast. But yeah, the trunk looks pretty good. Um, obviously, like I said, I wasn't going for perfect, but if I were to pop this open, I'd be pretty happy for a cruiser. You know, it's a, if I was doing a show car, this would be the original paint color in here and it would be, you know, it'd look flawless. But like I said, I'm pretty happy with this. I like this paint. I just hand brushed it on. It's a little sloppy. I'm going to tape off some areas and trim it in more. There was some dust up in the well, so I didn't want to go too high and knock it off into here and give it a more rough look but uh yeah it's just a rust-oleum uh tractor paint from tractor supply and it's oil based it takes a long time to dry but i've had great luck with this i've used other products like pur 15 and um different chassis sealers they're expensive and at the end of the day for 40 bucks a gallon this really does a great job and uh i put a nice thick coat on there it really flows out there was a couple little pits in the metal it kind of smoothed all that out and there's no more holes so i'm pretty happy about it like i said i'll probably bring the paint up maybe paint this too i just got to figure out where i want to stop and how to make it look clean even though this will all be covered by paneling and everything it's good to take a minute with the job and you know kind of do it uh professionally a little tape line here and there helps out so uh i'm gonna go move forward and do the next thing i guess my next thing is i got a shower and go to a birthday party so i'm done with this today and i'll figure out what i'm doing on it next time i can work on it thanks for watching guys